What is going on my PlayStation gamers? It is I, that one dude, Shotgun6343. I look all angry, but no, I'm really happy because the PS4 is two days away, two days away. It's gonna be in my hands, hopefully it'll be in your hands. Add me, Shotgun6343 on the PS4, the PS3 or the Vita, doesn't matter. Same account, we can all play games together. Good times. I'm about to start making room over here by my TV. Get out of here, PS3. Get out of here, Xbox 360. Get out of here, Wii. No one likes you. Put my PS4 right there. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. This is where you're going to be at for a while. It's okay. You're home. You're finally home. Let's go ahead and get into our next couple of reasons why you should be buying the PS4. Number 5 through 2. Okay, so my next reason why you should be getting the PS4, it's because it's a PS4, which means it's stronger, it's faster, overall it's just way better than the PS3. Now before we get into the specs and I start telling you what's actually inside the box, let me make it really simple for some of y'all that like simplistic type things. The PS4 is 10 times stronger than the PS3. Now you might be a visual learner, don't worry, I am too, so I'm gonna make it really, really simple here. It takes this many PS3s to equal the power of this many PS4s. That many PS3s equal that many PS4s. Simple. Okay, so outside the box, the PS4 has two USB 3.0 ports, a Blu-ray drive, of course, for your Blu-ray games and your Blu-ray movies as well. Built-in Wi-Fi also supports a Blu-ray 2.1, HDMI out, optical port for your audio, Ethernet port, and a PS camera port for your awesome PlayStation camera that you should buy. Digging a little deeper, the CPU on the PS4 is a 8-core single-chip X86 AMD Jaguar. The GPU is an AMD Radeon Graphics Core Next Engine. Now, with the GPU, it contains a unified array of 18 compute units, which collectively generates about 1.8 teraflops of processing power that can be freely applied to graphics, simultaneous tasking, or a mix of the two. And the cherry on top of all this is the 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. This is the RAM we're talking about. Compared to the PS3, the PS3 only had 512 megabytes of RAM. 512 megabytes of RAM compared to 8 gigabytes of RAM. The gigabytes is a game changer. This is basically going to allow you to turn off your PlayStation 4 mid-game and then be able to turn it on and carry on where you left off. This is where the memory kind of takes over and it's really a game changer and really what's going to make the PS4 the next gen that it is. Okay, so a lot of this might sound like mumbo jumbo to you. Like, what is an x86 GPU? What doesn't make sense to us makes perfect sense to game developers. And this leads me to my number four reason why you should be buying the PS4 is because game developers cannot stop talking about the PS4 and how awesome the system is. Let's take a listen to what they gotta say. We started with the PS1, then the PS2, then the PS3, now we get the PS4. It's better. PS4 is an amazing piece of hardware. It makes everything very, very shiny. I love shiny, shiny things, as you know. Yeah, so the PS4 is really, really, really fast. I mean, things are just flying all over the screen with the stuff. I'm talking about to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right again. I mean, things are just going zoom, 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 you know what I'm saying? A zoom, zoom to my boom, boom. Oh man, it is awesome, I love it. In all seriousness, the developers are extremely in love with the PS4. One of the biggest scratches of the PS3 was it Sony made it actually really, really difficult to develop games on a PS3. Now the way the PS4 is designed, it is optimized for developers to make games at ease on the PS4. Something that used to take developers six to 12 months, hear me out. Something that used to take developers six to 12 months to develop you know, a game on the PS3 would only take about two to three months on the PS4. Talk about amazing, talk about time. Now developers have more time to focus on other parts of the game and even add more stuff to the game. I'm talking about more polished games, more bigger games, better games. I mean, the PS4 is amazing and the developers literally can't stop talking about it. Buying a new console is not cheap. Obviously, the PS4 is $399, $400, makes sense. PS4, $400, makes sense. On top of that, if you buy the camera, that's another $60. Buy another control, that's another $60. Buying a game, $60. That's up. A lot of people don't have money. It's okay though, because Sony has got your back. My number three reason why you should be getting the PS4 is because of free to play games. Free to play games, so even if you buy the PS4, come home, hook it up, update it, do all that fancy stuff, you will still have a lot to play. And man, these are great games. So let's go down the list. I'm gonna show you a couple of the free to play games you will have access to day one when you get the PS4. Okay, to start things off with the free to play games, we got Warframe. Warframe is a quick, frenetic co-op shooter. I am really excited about this game. I gotta play it a couple times, but now I am really, really gonna put my hand and dig my teeth into this one. Really, really check out Warframe, guys. I'm really excited about this game. Then we got Planet Siders 2. Of course, Planet Sider 2 is basically a huge battle between hundreds, sometimes thousands of players on foot, land, and air. 
really, really cool. Definitely check that one out as well. Then we got the, your favorite MMO, DC Universe Online. It's an MMO RPG where you basically can get to play the hero or the vil villain, customizing whatever you want. Make your own superhero character or supervillain, like I said. You make whatever you want. You get to fight alongside Joker or the Batman. Choice is yours. Then we got Blacklight Retribution. Blacklight Retribution is a free-to-play sci-fi fiction multiplayer first-person shooter. If you love FPS's, Blacklight Retribution is definitely going to be up your alley. Okay, now if you're a member of the PlayStation Plus, you will get your hands on two bonus free-to-play games. Now these games you can still purchase on the PlayStation Network if you're not a PlayStation Plus member, but if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you get these games absolutely free. Now the first one takes place in about 1920, kind of has a noir type feel to it. It's called Contrast. It's kind of a 3D slash 2D puzzle platformer. Really, really cool. I saw some gameplay footage of it. I'm definitely going to be playing it because I'm a PlayStation member, so I get to play it for free. And last, but certainly not least, is Rezogun. Rezogun is an intense, fast-paced shoot 'em up If you ever played Super Stardust HD, it's the same guys that made them, and this game is going to blow your socks away. A couple months ago, there was a two-hour wait just to play this game at PAX Prime. I'm telling you, you guys are going to love Rezogun. And these are just a few free-to-play games that are coming to the PS4. There's definitely a lot more. War Thunder, for instance, that game is awesome. That is coming to the PS4 soon. So you'll be able to basically fly planes and have a good time in War Thunder. Okay, so my number two reason, we're getting to the end, my number two reason why you should be buying the PS4 is for the newly designed DualShock 4 controller. What can be said about this DualShock 4 controller that hasn't been said already? Not a damn thing. This thing has been taken apart, put back together, and, you know, Pretty much every game has been tried on it. I did an unboxing video about almost three weeks ago, it seems like, and a lot of people hated it. Definitely go watch it. You can give it a thumbs down, too. Ah, <sighs> this controller is amazing. The biggest thing that I love about it, a lot of new features with it, the biggest thing I love about it is the back texture of the DualShock 4 controller. It feels fantastic. It has a nice grip to it, and it feels like it's not going anywhere. And I tell you what, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be in my hands all the time. You know, I get sweaty hands, clammy hands. I'm sure a lot of y'all do. And the texture on it feels amazing. Uh, one of the other big uh, add-ons to the controller is the touchpad. This right here, depending on the game, some developers would choose to use, will choose to use it. Excuse me. Others maybe won't. Basically, it's a touchpad similar to the PlayStation Vita on the back. It's also clickable. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Click it, click it. And then you have the, basically, the move kind of built into the controller. It has a light bar here. Now, the light's always on. Can't turn it off, so if you're playing at night and trying to hide it, you're going to be seen. So, <laughs> don't try to hide it. Maybe put some tape over it. But then the PlayStation camera can't see you. Mmm. Can't do it. Can't do it. Just don't play it. Just don't play it. If your girlfriend says, hey, can't play anymore, you got to bite the bullet. Don't play. But the light bar there indicates your health, tracks what number of play you are, and then the PlayStation camera always can find you. So that's what that light bar is there for. Then you got the built-in mic. The built-in mic basically gets you closer closer to the action. Uh, just says, hey, I'm screaming at you. I know you can hear me from the TV, but I'm in your hands and I'm screaming at you. That's what, the, that's what happens with that. Convex, um, excuse me, uh, concave, convex, I don't know which one it is. Uh, analog sticks. Uh, you Basically, they feel really good and I keep turning that around. Oh, it feels good. That feels so good. I'm not going to lie. That feels really good. It feels like a, it's like my nipple. I'm just moving it around. Mm. Nice. Then you got analog sticks, very redesigned as well. They kind of come up, uh, feel really great. Share button options. I mean, like I said, guys, what hasn't been said about, about this? You probably already have one, and if you don't, you're really missing out. Just get it in your hands, and you'll love the texture on the back. Go buy it. We, I know with the PS4 is a day or two away. Go get it. Get used to the controller, because it does feel different. Get the DualShock 3s compared to DualShock 4. It does feel a little different. A lot of people might not like it at first, but trust me, you'll adjust to it within minutes. So that's my video, guys. I hope y'all guys enjoyed it. I got one more left. Take a guess. I'm sure you know what it is. What's my number one reason why you should buy the PS4? Can't guess? Be tuned. Be sure to stick around because I'll be uploading that pretty soon after this one. So cool, guys. Uh, have a great night or good morning or good afternoon, wherever it may be. <laughs> or <whatever. laughs> Okay. Yeah, I got to go. It is super late right now, and uh, I got to get some sleep because I got to be well rested for the PS4. So I am going to share this video and, whoop, oh, it's on YouTube now. <laughs>